Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a deep dive into the twisted world of Nestle. Yes, that's right, Nestle, the chocolatey, milky, sugary brand we all know and love. Or do we get ready for Nestle, a real-life horror movie? This isn't your typical feel-good story about a company that started from the bottom and made it to the top. Oh no, we're exploring the dark side of Nestle. We're talking scandals, accusations, and controversy galore. But hold on, we're not just here to spread doom and gloom. We'll also be delving into the origins of Nestle and how it all began with a life-saving product. Who knew that a company that brings us so much joy could also have such a twisted past? So buckle up, grab some chocolate, and get ready to learn the truth about one of the most hated companies online. We'll be covering everything from the rise of Nestle to the water crisis to exploitation. And of course, we'll be asking the big question on everyone's mind. Is Nestle the most evil company? So come along for the ride as we uncover Nestle's darkest secret, the disturbing truth. Why did Nestle do this? What's the real truth about Nestle? Let's find out together. Let's go back in time, my friends, to the year 1866. A young Swiss chemist by the name of Henry Nestle creates a product that would change the world. No, it wasn't a chocolate bar. Yet. It was a formula for infants who couldn't breastfeed. This life-saving product was easy to digest and packed with nutrients. Henry was a hero to parents everywhere. Fast forward a few years and Nestle has become a household name, known for its tasty treats and life-saving products. But with great power comes great responsibility. And Nestle hasn't always lived up to its reputation. Some have accused the company of being more concerned with profits than people. Despite its rocky history, Nestle has continued to grow and expand its product lines. From chocolate bars to coffee to pet food, they've got something for everyone. And let's be real, who doesn't love a good Kit Kat? But as consumers, we have the power to hold companies like Nestle accountable. We can demand transparency and ethical practices. We can support businesses that prioritize people over profits. So let's enjoy our snacks and remember that with great power and a little bit of sugar comes great responsibility. Okay, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive into some serious stuff. In the 1970s, Nestle found itself at the center of a controversy that would make your stomach turn. They were accused of promoting their infant formula in developing countries, even though many mothers couldn't afford it and didn't have access to clean water to mix it with. And let's be real. Nobody wants to mix their baby's formula with dirty water. As a result, babies were suffering from malnutrition and even dying. It's like something straight out of a horror movie. But unfortunately, this was all too real. Nestle denied any wrongdoing and argued that they were providing a valuable service. But come on, guys, we're not talking about selling candy bars here. The controversy surrounding Nestle's actions in developing countries has been referred to as the baby killer scandal, and it's still haunting them to this day. Some have called for boycotts of Nestle products, while others have demanded that the company take responsibility for their actions. It's a complicated issue with no easy answers. In response to the scandal, Nestle has made some changes to their marketing practices, but many still question their motives. It's hard to shake off a reputation like baby killer, you know. And let's not forget that this isn't the only scandal Nestle has been involved in. They've got a whole laundry list of controversies and accusations against them. So what can we do as consumers? It's important to stay informed and hold companies like Nestle accountable for their actions. We can choose to support businesses that prioritize ethical practices and transparency. And if we're feeling particularly daring, we can even stage a protest or two. Just make sure you're not protesting with a Kit Kat in your hand, or you might be sending mixed signals. Oh boy, Nestle just can't seem to catch a break. Not only did they get caught up in the baby killer scandal, but they've also been accused of taking advantage of natural resources. And we're not just talking about stealing a few extra packets of sugar from the break room. In 2013, Nestle faced backlash for bottling water from a drought-stricken area in California. Look, we get it, water is important, but when you're making billions of dollars off of something that should be a basic human right, it's bound to raise some eyebrows. Nestle defended their actions, but the public wasn't buying it. It's a sensitive topic, especially given the global water crisis. And it's not just California. 
Nestlé has faced similar accusations in other parts of the world as well. It's hard to know what to do in a situation like this. On the one hand, we need water to survive. On the other hand, it doesn't seem fair that a company like Nestlé can profit off of a resource that should be available to everyone. It's a complicated issue with no easy answers. So what's the solution? Well, for starters, we can all try to be more mindful of our water consumption. Turn off the faucet while you're brushing your teeth, take shorter showers, that sort of thing. And we can also support organizations that are working to protect our natural resources. As for Nestle, it's up to them to prove that they're operating ethically and responsibly. The ball's in your court, Nestle. You got it. Let's dive deeper into Nestle's track record with human rights and why it's not as sweet as their chocolate bars. First, let's talk about the elephant in the room, child labor. It's never okay to use child labor, and Nestle knows that. In 2018, they promised to eradicate the practice in their cocoa supply chain. But let's be real. It shouldn't have taken a public scandal for Nestle to realize that using child labor is a big no-no. It's like getting caught with your hand in the cookie jar and promising never to do it again. We're watching you, Nestle. But it's not just child labor. Nestle has also been accused of exploiting farmers and paying them unfairly. We all know that farmers work hard to produce the food we eat, and they deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Paying them unfairly is like stealing their hard-earned money. That's just not right, Nestle. And let's not forget about Nestle's track record with water. In 2013, the company faced backlash for bottling water from a drought-stricken area in California. Nestle defended its actions, but the public wasn't buying it. It's a sensitive topic, especially given the global water crisis and the fact that Nestle makes billions of dollars off something that should be a basic human right. It's like selling air. We all need it to survive, so why should one company profit off of it? But wait, there's more! Nestle has also been accused of promoting its infant formula in developing countries where many mothers couldn't afford it and didn't have access to clean water to mix it with. This led to malnutrition and even infant deaths. Nestle denied any wrongdoing and argued that it was providing a valuable service, but the controversy still haunts them to this day. It's like selling ice to Eskimos. It's not necessary and it can actually do harm. And it's not just about what Nestle does. It's also about what they don't do. In 2019, the company refused to sign a pledge to stop deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. Deforestation has devastating effects on the environment and indigenous communities. Refusing to take action is like sticking your head in the sand and hoping the problem will go away on its own. But it's not all doom and gloom. Nestle did make a commitment to make all of its packaging recyclable or reusable by 2025. That's a step in the right direction. It's like finally cleaning up your room after years of letting it become a mess. But we need to see more action like this from Nestle and other companies. So what's the solution? We need to hold companies like Nestle accountable for their actions. We need to demand that they operate ethically and responsibly. And we need to support organizations that are working to protect workers' rights and the environment. After all, we're all in this together. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll be able to enjoy a Nestle chocolate bar without feeling guilty about it. Well, folks, that's a wrap on Nestle's disturbing history. We've learned about their rise to power with a life-saving infant formula, but also their controversies, scandals, and accusations of exploitation. And while we may have laughed at some of the ridiculousness, it's important to remember the real-world consequences of Nestle's actions. But don't worry, we're not here to lecture you. We just wanted to give you a taste of the sweet, sweet or not so sweet world of Nestle. It's up to you to decide what you think of the company and their practices. One thing's for sure, though, Nestle isn't going anywhere anytime soon. They have their hands in everything from chocolate to coffee to pet food, and they make billions of dollars each year. So whether you're a diehard Nestle fan or a dedicated Nestle hater, they're definitely a company to keep an eye on. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get a Nestle movie on the big screen. I mean, they've got everything you need for a blockbuster, drama, controversy, and even a little bit of comedy. Until then, we'll just have to settle for our mini movie here. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fascinating business stories. Who knows what crazy company we'll be diving into next?